All right, now in this problem, we are asked to write this method called get average rating within the review analysis class, um, which will return the average rating of all the elements of all reviews. So within our review analysis class, we have this array of reviews where we've defined this review class up here, where a review is made out of a rating and a comment, and we can get the rating using the get rating or the comment using the get comment. So for this problem, since we're finding the average rating of the elements, we're actually probably only going to be using the get rating getter, not the get comment one, because we don't really care about the comment. So um, we scroll down to this, where we've got public double get average rating. Cool. So let's sort of write out the pseudocode of what we want to get done here. So how is an average created? Right? So outside of this, let's say that I have one, two, and three. How would I find the average of those three numbers? Well, let's make, let's make it a little bit harder. Let's make it let's add a four. Let's say I have one, two, three, and four. How would I find the average of those numbers? Well, first of all, I would add them all up, right? So um, I would say one plus two plus three plus four. What does that equal? Let's see, that equals 10. Cool. Then what would I do? Then I would divide by the number of elements. So 10 divided by four. So the average number here, I think, is two and a half, right? So we want to use something similar for this method, but we're going to have to be using the review methods to get the proper information, right? So, um, so we needed to sum up all of our individual elements. So what that's going to be is those individual review ratings. So um, we're probably going to want to initialize a total variable. So that's going to keep track of the total ratings, right? Then we're going to want to loop over all the reviews in all reviews. We're going to want to get the rating for the review we're looking at um, and add that to the total variable. So we're keeping that um, sort of cumulative sum, right? Then once we're done going through all the reviews, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to divide by the number of reviews. Cool. And what's fun about this method is we are guaranteed that it contains at least one review and no element of all reviews is null. So that means that with confidence, we can call these get rating, get comment methods uh, without it running into a, an error, right? Okay, so that's the pseudo code. Um, let's go ahead and dive into it. Initializing a total variable. Um, so since this method returns a double, you might think that our total variable should be a double as well, but I actually think that it should be an int. The reason why, we can look at our get rating method within the review class and it returns an int. So at some point, we're probably going to want <clears throat> to do some sort of double conversion. But at this point, <clears throat> since we're adding up a bunch of ints, let's just make this an int. So int total, we can just initialize that to zero. Cool. Looping through all the reviews and all reviews, this will probably be a for loop. Um, simple for int i equals zero i is less than we want to go through all the reviews so all reviews dot length i plus plus cool oh why did i go there then for every single review we want to get the rating from that review so we would say int rating equals all reviews i dot using that get rating method get rating Cool. Then we want to add that to our total variable. So total plus equals rating, which is the same thing as total equals total plus rating. But I just like to keep it simple. All right. And now we're almost done. So at this point, we have um, that 10 in that previous example where we were adding up 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. But we still need to divide by the number of elements, which in this case is the number of reviews. So here's where we might need to use some casting. So remember that right now we have an int. We're trying to return a double. So we can do return. Let's cast our total and divide that by all reviews dot length. Right. So 
So what this does, because the order of operations for a cast is higher than division, what we're going to do is we're going to cast this total to a double first. So that would be the equivalent of changing it from 10 to 10.1, or sorry, 10.0, and then we divide by 4 to so that we get 2.5. And the reason why we need to cast it to that double is remember that integers behave a little bit differently when you're doing division. So if we didn't have this 0, .0 what we're doing here is we're saying how many times can 4 go into 10 completely? So we would get 2 here obviously isn't what the average rating is. We gotta have that cast there, otherwise we're gonna chop off part of the information that we need to return. Cool, so this is our solution. Um, as always, let's go through the example it provides in the problem to make sure that this is correct. We're initializing that total variable, which is zero. We look at the first review. The first review's rating is four, so now total equals zero plus four, which is four. Total equals 0 plus 4 equals 4. Then we move on to the next rating. Now the total is 4 plus 3, which is 7. Then we move on to the next review. 7 plus 5 is 12. All right, next one. Uh, 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. So that's our final number. We move on to this line of code. We cast that total as a double, so we can avoid any integer division. Then we divide that by the number of ratings, which is 5, and we end up getting 3.4, which is absolutely correct. That is what it should have been. Here is what our get average rating looks like if we get rid of all that pseudocode. Um, we're initializing that total, adding the, the value of each of the ratings for each review, casting it as a double, dividing by how many reviews there are. Yeah, that's all there is to it.